Hi there, I'm Katie Neal from Radio.com, and today we are hanging out with rising country artist Tenniel Arts. Her new album, Love, Heartache, Heartbreak, and Everything in Between, just came out earlier this month. And Bachelor Nation, you will recognize her because she's performed on the show three times now. Thank you so much for coming to see us. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. Your new album just came out earlier in January. Are you have you like surfaced at all from like album release chaos, or are you still like just in the thick of it? I feel like I've been in the thick of it for a while, <laughs> um, even just before release releasing it I was so excited and then I felt like release the night of the release I could kind of relax a little bit because it was just exciting to have it out and now it's like You're running all to over go, yeah. yeah talk about it which is it's been so much fun I know I always like I get excited for artists but then I kind of feel bad because I'm like I know you haven't slept in so long <laughs> but this is so cool it's so much fun that's so great so the album is called love heartbreak and everything in between and it's kind of a concept album in that the first four songs are love songs the next four are heartbreak songs and then the last four are the everything in between so mm -hmm. when you set out to make the album was that kind of your vision that it would be this concept record or how did everything take shape I actually originally had the idea to do three separate projects that would be themed with those exact themes um, and then it just kind of made sense to put it together in an album because I was like people are going to listen to it however they want to uh, but I still wanted to have it you know kind of sectioned off so if people are going through a breakup they can listen to those like four exact songs one right after another and it's uh if you're in love you can listen to love songs so i i just kind of liked that idea and i'm so like happy that it finally came together yeah and it sounds great i love the new single i wanted to talk to you about that somebody like that because it kind of talks yeah. about all the different kind of loves you experience in life with like the hookup love or yeah. like you know making out at a bar but then also that one great love that you're looking for and you co-wrote or wrote all the songs on the album so what was the inspiration behind the single behind the single was you know I had written all of these breakup songs and I was totally over it I was like at some point I want to start looking for somebody new and I want to fall in love again and I was just like I was talking with my co-writers and we were talking about really great love around us that we've looked up to whether it's our parents or our grandparents whatever it is um, and wanting to find something exactly like that and it also mentions all of the typical like different kind of kinds of ways that people find love and some of them do find love in a bar and some of them do find you know love on dating apps, whatever it is. But, you know, I kind of wanted the old school meet somebody in person and, and fall in love. So that's what we wrote about. I love that because you can have like role models in your career and in your life, but to have like your love role models too is something I think that is really special. I love yeah. that. And then that was the song that you most recently performed on the premiere of The Bachelor, which you've now performed on three times. And I don't think that anybody else has ever been like a repeat guest, right? I don't think so. So how did this all happen? Because wasn't it, it was one of the producers that loved your music and kept asking you back right talk a little yeah. bit about that the very first time I was on the show I was actually an independent artist I had never been signed to a label or anything like that um, and so my manager had been sending my music around and one of the producers from The Bachelor just fell in love with my music and so we continued to send her things over the years and she had me back to perform my last single I hate this and now back to perform somebody like that so it's I'm very thankful for her and that she's, you know, keeps asking me to come back. This, I don't think we'll do it again after. Jones, I feel like you're this. like this close to just getting a residency on The Bachelor yeah. every January. <laughs> but it's been amazing so far. I don't think people realize that people watching The Bachelor are country music listeners. Oh, they absolutely. Love, they love country music. And it's like, you know, it's so like storytelling, which is a I mean, you can get a lot of inspiration from that show alone. So. Exactly. Like you could write a whole nother album just based on things that you've seen on there. So when you went to perform at the premiere, did you, I know that everything is so secretive and there's tons of NDAs, but did you know like that that was a beginning of the season episode or did you get there and think like, what, how far in are they? Cause it was like pilot Pete with his parents and then on a date. So if I were you, I'd have been like, wait a second, what's going on? Yeah. I thought that it was like a little bit into the show. I didn't realize that we were going to be on the premiere so they don't even tell you what episode no. that's so <laughs> yeah. crazy I knew it was one well actually I knew that it was like one of the early one-on-one -on -one days so that's why I was super surprised when I saw the family and everything coming in I'm like well this, this is very this serious very quickly <laughs> soon but hey whatever um but yeah it was like super cool to be a part of the premiere like the three hour most watched <laughs> you know episode of the season that's really cool that's so awesome having some inside perspective who do you think is going to end up with Pete at the end of the season oh my gosh I I do you, have do a theory. you watch it or I do okay but I have a theory that the first impression rose and the girl that goes on the first one-on-one -on -one date 
you have to watch them because they usually make it really far. And so I'm hoping that Maddie, the girl that Madison, I performed yes, before, exactly. uh, will make it really far. Well, I know that Pete keeps bringing that up, so I feel like she's got a pretty good chance. Now that you've performed on the show and been around it a lot, do you feel? would you ever go on the show? No. No, uh, I, I know. Like, I'm the I same was... way. I'm like, I could never, ever do that. I don't think I could let my grandma see me making out with somebody on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? There's just too many things, and you never know how they're going to spin it or yeah. edit it or what happens. But you're from a little town in Saskatch- Saskatchewan, Canada, which I can barely sp- say, let <laughs> yeah. alone spell. But what does everyone back in Weyburn think about you, know, you being on all these national television shows and pl- playing the Today Show? I'm like... I mean, everybody has been so supportive. Since I was a kid, everyone has been really supportive of me and my hometown. And I'm, my mom sends me clips like or little screenshots of the newspaper. Like every week there's something in there about me. It's really cool that they're keeping up with it. And I've been able to go and like visit radio stations back in my hometown and just like talk with them. And it's so cool. I feel like they're just kind of they're excited that I'm like actually out here doing this stuff and it's been really fun. That's so awesome. And you've actually played this for me before, but there's a song on the album that I love. Everybody knows everybody, which is about your hometown bar. And I think that it's so relatable because you either have a bar like that in your life or you wish that you did kind of cheers style where everybody knows your name. But what is the name of that bar? The Detour. The Detour, <laughs> yes. What, like, have you been back there since that song came out? Or, like, has it played there? Do you know? Uh, I've been back. I went back um, r- around Christmas time when I was home. I just, you know, stopped in for a minute. And I did see a lot of people that I knew. And it was a little <laughs> overwhelming. But, yeah, it's still there. And That's <laughs> so funny. Everybody knows everybody's business. I feel like if you're going to do a music video, you're going to have to go back Definitely. and do it there. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. It's funny, yeah, because I was thinking, I was like, I have a bar like that. It's called Peacock's Pub back in my hometown and it's owned by the football coach of the high school so it's like everybody is always there which is so funny Um, so you had such a big year in 2019 you got to open for Reba and you played the Grand Ole Opry what are you really looking forward to in 2020? I feel like this year has already started out so like strong. I you was start out with for- a bam. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I was really looking forward to The Bachelor. I was looking forward to the Today Show and just so many things in between there. Just being out on radio tour, meeting people, hopefully going on an actual tour would be that would be a dream come true for me this year I just want to go out and meet everybody because I feel like I've I talk to these people on social media all the time and they're we're always like I can't wait to meet you and stuff and so I just want to be out on the road and what is your everybody. social handle so that everybody knows if what so they can get a hold of you it's just at Tenille Arts at Tenille Arts yeah. that's so great well I feel like if your year started off with the Bachelor premiere and the Today Show and all these amazing things that you've been doing that you are going to have an unbelievable 2020 and we are so excited for you and we can't wait to see you again soon come see us anytime Tenille Arts her new album, Love, Heartbreak, and Everything in Between, is out now at tennealearts.com. You can check that out. I'm Katie Neal from Radio.com. You can also hear me on New York's Country 94.7. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for all notifications from radio.com. While you're at it, why don't you check out some of our other great videos?